everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I have actually been spending today um, planning some very, very exciting things that are happening after I finish my journalism course in January and I was getting myself in a little bit of a rut. I was just sort of planning it and looking at the really cool things that I'm hoping to be doing and I was thinking, oh my god, like, as much as I'm enjoying my life right now, you know, it's really not very vloggable. Like, not a lot is going on day to day. I'm in a routine. I'm living a very normal, you know, just get up, do your stuff, come home, cook, clean, etc. life. And I think with YouTube, there's always a bit of a pressure to kind of be vloggable and to be uploading content that's really exciting. And when I was at uni, my life was a bit more sort of like spontaneous at times or I was revising and I had stuff to kind of talk about in that respect and I could show Oxford and things like that. But obviously at the moment, because I am in the course 9.30 to 5.30 every day, um, there's not all that much to show. And so I was getting really in my own head about it and it's why I've not really been uploading that much because I just feel like you guys don't really want to see that. So I uploaded on my story and said, look, my life is really not exciting at the moment. Would you rather I like go back more into sit down videos and stuff? And so many of you messaged me saying that you really love my week in the life videos and you really love seeing the more boring aspects of life um, and it just really like cheered me up and really heartened me to see so that inspired me to pick up the camera and film a week or nearly a week in the life. So today is Friday and I'm actually enjoying life so much right now because I did not have to get up at <laughs> quarter to seven today. I actually have my journalism placement starting today. I'm doing it at Riverside Radio, which is a radio station in Battersea. And that's part of my course that I do a placement every Friday. But my placement doesn't actually start till four o'clock today. Just, I don't, know if, I don't know if it's gonna be like that every week or if it's just this week, because it's kind of like the first day, because um, their new show is at 6 p.m. So I'm not really sure how that's gonna work, but nonetheless, I've very much been enjoying a morning in bed, watching YouTube, which I've not done in so long, um, and planning the very exciting plans that I have. But I thought that once I get up and get going, I would start the vlog over the weekend, showing you like my placement, and then try and film a few days in the life of the course from Monday to Wednesday. Obviously, I can't be sticking my camera in my course mates' faces. I can't really be filming classes, but I figured I could probably still give a good go at filming what it's like and what like lessons I have and stuff to give you an insight. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna chill in bed for a little bit longer because I am really, really enjoying it and then I have to get up and very boringly, no, I'm gonna stop saying boring. I'm gonna stop beating myself up for having a day-to-day -day life. I need to clean the flat because it's kind of got a bit messy um, over the week. Rob and I are both out until I'm back. I get back at about quarter to seven. He gets back about quarter to eight um, most days, sometimes a bit later, so things just pile up as as they would do. So I'm gonna make the most of having a morning off to kind of make the flat a bit cleaner so we can chill a bit more this weekend. So I have now cleaned the flat pretty much. I have a couple of other things I need to do but they can get done over the weekend. It's looking much much better now. I do need to have a bit of a declutter but that will have to wait. I'm now going to get ready and write a script for some YouTube stories, um, YouTube stories, Instagram stories that I need to film and a couple of other bits and bobs that I need to shoot before I have some lunch. I figured it may as well May as well just ride the productivity wave and get it done and then I can chill out a little bit before I head to my placement. So I now have the script all written on my laptop here um, after about half an hour. I'm now gonna go and get ready and film the stories. Um, that should hopefully take just over an hour maybe to get that all filmed and edited. So we're running well on time today. <laughs> So I've got my phone set up here, ready to go. I need to return that H&M parcel, I know. 
I actually have been filming quite a lot on my phone recently. This new phone has got such a great camera and I find that it translates better onto Instagram stories, so. Please ignore the state of my screen, but the stories are just exporting now. So now I've just got to add the captions onto them and I'm done. Well, my voice just went very weird there. <laughs> Hello again, everyone. I'm now just taking a little rest because I have been running on like six hours sleep all week and I have to leave in an hour. So I'm just gonna make the most of having a little bit of time to myself. I might have a quick nap, if I'm honest. Um, I didn't get much sleep last night. I just could not get to sleep. Um, and then, yeah, I guess we're gonna go. It, the problem I'm having is that it's no dress code. And from what I've seen, everyone looks very casually dressed, but I equally don't wanna go in like super casual. But I think I am gonna wear jeans because everyone else seems to be wearing jeans, but I don't know. So I'm just heading out for the placement now. I'm really nervous, I know it'll be fine, but I always just get really nervous when I go to a new place and I really haven't, like, I don't know about anything, like what's gonna happen, I was just told to get there at four, so. Feeling nervous, but I've put my sunshine earrings in because they always seem to bring me just good luck and good energy. And in terms of outfit, it said no dress code, so I've gone for casual, um, but like tried to like not go too casual. So I've just got this top on, which is from Urban. My jeans are from Pull and Bear. This jacket is from Zara. Necklace I've had for ages. It was from a jewelry shop in Whitby. And my Converse are from Office, so I will let you know how it goes. I obviously won't like vlog be talking while I'm there, but I'll try and get some clips of the place. So I headed on out on the bus. This is a new bus route for me, so I did get a little bit lost trying to find the stop, but I got there eventually. I made my way to Battersea and I was at the station and it's really, really cool. It's very different to Black Country Radio, but like in a good way, it's good to get like new experiences. And the best part of this, guys, is that I made a friend on the bus. He did try and bite me, and I probably should have pulled my hand away a bit quicker, but he's so cute. If anyone knows what breed this dog is, please let me know, because I keep seeing him around Brixton, and I want one, or two, or three. <laughs> Hello, everyone. So I'm back. Um, it was quite a short day today. It was only from four till seven. It was a bit of a weird one, because there's three of us from News Associates that are doing the placement at this place, but I organised it back in June um, through Black Country Radio way, whereas they've organised it recently through News Associates. So I went in today and I think they thought that the placement started next week. Even though he told me to come in today, I was then in the induction with like a lot of like just volunteers that are just coming to volunteer at the station. But obviously they're just coming on like an ad hoc basis, whereas I'm there for the whole day on Friday from I think one till about seven. But it was still really, really cool to see the station and to see how the show works. And obviously I've used Myriad and I've used all the systems before. So it was just really exciting because I've really missed doing it. And I'm also quite excited to get involved in the producing side of things rather than just the presenting. I have, I have done a bit of producing, but that is something I would like to learn more about. So it seems that we're gonna be like very hands-on from next week, which I'm really excited about. Anyway, Rob is out at the pub with his mates from his course. Um, I am being antisocial and <laughs> chilling here tonight. I really just couldn't be bothered. So I think I'm going to have myself some fish and chips from the oven, from the oven, into the oven from the freezer. Watch the new episode of Strictly. I'm so happy about that. And you know what, I might even, I might even have a glass of wine. Do you know what, I've not had a glass of wine in a long time. I'm gonna have a glass of wine. Uh, it's gonna be a lovely, a lovely evening. Uh, just me, myself and I. I cannot wait. <laughs> Hello everyone. So I have gotten into my cozies because I am so tired, but I figured while I have an evening to myself, I'm gonna spend it doing a little bit of organizing, a little bit of budgeting for the month ahead and mainly planning for Christmas. And I know you're thinking, Eve, Christmas is not for another three months. I know. That being said, you have to save up. You have to find out what gifts you're gonna get for everybody and that just doesn't happen itself, you know what I mean? Add to that the fact that every single person I seem to be close to has their birthday between the months of October and February. 
or March. So a lot of present buying has to happen. So it's just best to get ahead of the game, really. <laughs> so tonight I thought I'd get together a bit of a list of gift ideas for some of my family members to kind of see how much money I need to be putting away, like where it's got offers on, etc, etc. I have been using the Oprah desktop browser to do this, and it's honestly been so, so handy. I love that I can save everything nice that I come across into separate pin boards for each person. Not only does that help me kind of visualise the gifts that I've got in mind, but I can also save the link so I can check back later. It really helps me visualize what gifts I have in mind for each person and I can also save the link so I've got the photo and the link there ready for when I actually do my shopping. Full disclosure if you are friend family or boyfriend please stop watching now because if you find out what I've got you for Christmas I may cry. So here you can see I've already got Rob's Christmas ideas building up here I'm kind of adding them as I go. My mom however is a much tougher cookie to crack I find her really hard to buy for so so far I've got these two ideas but I figured I would shop with you for a couple more. I feel like something from the white company could be a good idea but I just don't know what. I really like the scent of this candle and I think she'll like it too so I'm just going to add it up on the pin board here by clicking this icon and I love that you can pick the image to match as well so it looks super aesthetically pleasing and put together. I feel like she needs a new case for her kindle because her old one is pretty battered. This one here is just gorgeous so I'm going to add this as well. I'm going to do the rest of my family members as I go throughout the week but now I have them all stored at the click of a button right here, which is amazing. It also has loads of other features that really help me in my daily life as well. I love that it has a free VPN because I know that I'm browsing safely and securely. And I also love the workspaces that allow me to organize my different tabs into different things. So I can have my journalism stuff on one, I can have admin on the other, I can have YouTube on the other. You can also use the sidebar to chat with your friends and listen to music while you're getting on with your work or your shopping or whatever it is, which I really love because it saves me from having to switch between apps, tabs, windows, you name it, it's just all in one place. <laughs> it's super easy to transfer all your bookmarks, tabs and passwords over from your old browser. So if you would like to give Opera Desktop a try, then be sure to head down to my description where there'll be a link and you can download it for yourself and try it out. Hi everybody, so it is now Saturday. It's actually one o'clock. I had the laziest morning. I really couldn't sleep again, so I really just tried to force myself to lie down and sleep and just had a chill morning just recharging a little bit and just relaxing because it has been a really long week anyway i've just had a shower and made the bed i'm now going to do some financy stuff which is really boring you can probably hear rob playing call of duty in the background but it probably sounds really boring but that mini budget that was announced yesterday i kind of need to have a look at like where my money is at and where it's best placed given the absolute i just don't even know what's going to happen so i need to look into like what's predicted that's going to happen obviously you can't predict everything and i don't know a lot about finances but i just want to make sure that i i'm in the best place like if any of the changes are going to impact anything negative do you know what i mean like i just want to i basically just want to have a look at my finances and make sure that i am putting everything in the places where it should really be and just being careful and sensible that's really boring. Anyway, I just need to do some shorthand today. Um, you're supposed to do two hours a day practice, but like I get home at like 7.30, like there's no way I'm doing two hours after that. So I am gonna do a few hours today. We need to do a food shop. We're having a very chilled day today because we haven't just had that in a while. Last weekend was really busy. Um, so just lots of admin, laundry. I think Rob is enjoying Call of Duty a little bit too much. <laughs> So I got on with a lot of emails. I had just so many to catch up on and then I headed on out to do a Tesco shop. I really haven't vlogged much else today because we didn't really do much else that day. It was honestly such a needed day to kind of just get everything in order and also just rest and relax. There's always so much pressure to be out and busy but I just love days where all I do is a food shop and a couple of other bits and the rest of the day is just spent chilling. Sadly, I had to do some shorthand in the afternoon because it's a necessary evil, but I am getting there. I was just doing some dictation practice here. Um, I've just realized that I'm basically wearing this jumper for the whole vlog, but it is so comfy, guys. Like, it's literally the best jumper ever. And then I gave up after about an hour and a half, if I'm pretty honest. <laughs> so we've just had dinner. We had fajitas, which were, well, more like burritos, like with corn mints and stuff, which was so yummy. I'm now gonna watch Strictly. I've just done two hours of shorthand practice. Um, so I'm gonna reward myself by watching Strictly. And I actually bought myself a bottle of wine today because yesterday I told you that I really wanted a glass of wine and we didn't have any. So tonight is the night for a glass of wine or two or three. Or... 
an indeterminate number. Hello everybody, so it is now Sunday. I had a lot of chilled evening yesterday. I have, all I've done today is get up, have breakfast and put the laundry on. So sorry if you can hear that in the background. But today, I think I might actually take myself out. I'm supposed to be meeting a friend for coffee in Brixton later today. So I am gonna maybe like make that into an opportunity to go out a little bit myself because obviously there is no pressure to go out and do things. Like if you are just having a chill week, that's okay. But I'm definitely getting like slightly itchy feet from having just mainly either been at News Associates or in the flat this week. So I think I might just take myself for a wander around Brixton, see what there is to see, try not to spend too much money shopping. <laughs> um, but first, I'm gonna get my shorthand out of the way for today because I know that if I don't do it now, I won't do it. So gonna do a couple of hours now and then head on out. Okay, see there's the washing machine. And then head on out this afternoon. So this is what shorthand looks like. Obviously mine's not perfect because I'm learning. But basically how I'm doing it is I've put all of the words on Quizlet, but like on one-sided flashcards. And then they get read out to me, like on the audio, which is kind of how the teacher does it in class. Which means that I can go through super, super quickly and practice like writing as quickly as I possibly can. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Uh, I'm just as confused as you are to be honest, but we're getting there. <laughs> So I'm off out now. I just got ready super quickly because I'm meeting my friend at 12. That is the time that she wanted to do and it was like 11 and I was like, oh my God. But I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit because the autumn clothes are back out and you know that this is my time of year. I hate the summer. I hate dressing for the summer. I hate it. This is my time. So first outfit of the weather. So jumper is from Monkey. I got this last year. Um, but I wear it all the time still. I need to find a decent necklace that matches this. If anyone has an idea of like a good necklace style that would match this jumper let me know because I've tried a few different things and it always just looks a bit weird um skirt is from H&M I got this a few weeks ago absolutely love it but it does ride up but I always have this problem because my weight is always a bit loose on the waist and a bit tight on the hips so it just naturally kind of goes up I'm trying to show you my boots without showing my knickers it's not gonna work is it my boots are from a shop in Berlin I literally have never worn shoes as much as I have these they are an absolute staple I think my earrings are from Brandy Melville, but I cannot remember, I'm afraid. Anyway, I'm gonna go or else I'm gonna be late, um, but I will see you soon. Please excuse the mess behind me, I have to make the bed still, but my handbag is from Coach, I haven't zipped the middle up. Um, I got this last year and has become an absolute staple as well, because it goes with literally everything in my wardrobe. Love it. <laughs> So I headed on in to Brixton. It's looking very autumnal at the moment, isn't it? Look at this, look at the planes. Is anyone else obsessed? With the planes. I, I ne I've never lived in a place that's like an airspace, oh, like under an airspace before. And I just I just love always seeing them fly by and stuff. Okay, that's really random. Anyway, we ended up heading to Pret because we both have Pret subscriptions and in this economy, can you be affording to pay four pound for a coffee? No. Then I went shopping. <laughs> Hi everyone, so I am back. It was really, really nice. And I just popped and had a look in H&M. I got a really nice gilet, gilet? I don't know which way you pronounce that. Anyway, I'm back um, just chilling for a little bit now. I had the leftover fajita mix and guac and salsa and everything. And I put it on some nachos for lunch. It was honestly great, I can't lie. And I'm just sat watching, um, actually watching Fabulous Hannah's um, vlogs from like the last few weeks. I don't watch YouTube that much at all anymore, if I'm brutally honest. But Hannah um, has a small business. She runs like a dog um, accessories like a pet accessories business and it has honestly been so cool do you know those people that like you know but you know obviously you're not like really close or anything but it's just so cool to watch them like do amazing things and every time i've met hannah she's been so lovely i haven't spoken to her in a while but i just love watching her small business vlogs because i, I feel like such secondhand pride at like how amazing she's done she's got like a whole little office She's like big office actually and she is just doing so well and I just really love watching her small business vlogs. I'm never gonna set up a small business like that is not the way I want to go with my life because I do not have the skills for it but it's just so cool watching her um, and I've really been enjoying them and I've just kind of binge watched them the last few days um, so that's what I'm doing right now. Anyway enough of me rambling this is why this vlog is gonna be like 40 minutes long. One more thing though to say is that all my plans for this week are in the second half of the week. I have plans Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday I don't have plans Monday, Tuesday, so please don't think this whole vlog is going to be like me just talking about chores and cooking because there will be some fun stuff later on. <laughs> so here I am just putting away the laundry. I've realised in this clip that it looks like I'm exclusively doing Rob's laundry. That was not the case. All my stuff just was in the lighter wash. 
and then I was making some lunch. Um, I did wash all of these veg after I chopped them. It doesn't look like I did in this clip. I just made a falafel wrap um, and I had fresh to clean this countertop as well, by the way. Lots of disclaimers there. The wrap was yummy. Hello, so I've just been editing this vlog that you're watching right now. I've edited it, it's already 17 minutes. So I'm sure this vlog is going to be very long, so I'm going to keep this clip short and sweet. HelloFresh box has just arrived. This video is not sponsored by HelloFresh. We genuinely do just use them every week because we love them and we swear by them. And they're the only reason that I eat any remotely healthy food at any point. Um, so probably just going to chill for a little bit, cook dinner and have a relaxed evening because this week is going to be very full on. Tonight we had a dal, which was honestly amazing. The caramelised onions in it were chef's kiss. And then we honestly just chilled out, watched some TV, put some vinyls on, and we actually played a few board games. And we also played Battleships, which is, this is from Tiger, by the way. And we had so much fun. Would really recommend if you're ever around Tiger. Good morning, everyone. How are we doing? So it is now Monday. I am just heading off to my course. I normally leave just after eight o'clock um, to get there for 9.30. So I need to do some law reading on the bus. But today, the timetable is slightly different to what it was last week. I'll try and film as much as I can. I thought I'd give you a quick outfit of the day before I go. So my jumper is from H&M and so is the gilet. I'm honestly obsessed with it, it's so cute. I kind of would have preferred it in a medium but they didn't have it in stock and I was like, I really can't bother to go and try and find it. And then my jeans are from Zara. Then I have my docks. I can't remember the exact name of these, but I got them on ASOS, like Sierra, Sienna docks. I'm still getting used to them and I don't really think they suit me, but I felt like they were good for the winter uh, when it's raining. Um, and yeah, that's my outfit. So off I headed to the bus stop. I actually don't mind my commute at all, to be honest. It is just a bus and a train. Uh, anything that can avoid the tubes at rush hour is very welcome by me. So here I was cruising through Clapham um, and then I got to Clapham Junction. I got to Clapham Junction. I got to Clapham Junction. Read the Metro on the train because you've got to get good marks in the news quiz. I am gunning for the news quiz trophy. Um, and then after that, okay, thank you Motorbike for interrupting my voiceover. I headed through Twickenham. Twickenham's lovely by the way guys. Twickenham's so beautiful. I can see why the house prices are so high here well i can't because everything's really expensive but i can see why they're particularly high here i got my prep cup of tea the subscription is doing me well i don't know why we don't have a kettle at news associates we are campaigning for one and then this morning we started the day with a paper review which we hadn't done before where we kind of joined up in teams and we like hosted little news conferences where we were reviewing the papers we did the sun then I had lunch and we headed out and I grabbed myself a donut because I was having a bit of a crash and I needed something to power me through media law. We were doing defamation today, which was very interesting. So here I am writing my notes. And then weirdly, we actually had shorthand last thing today, which we normally have in the morning. We had the test, I got full marks. I was very proud of myself. I feel like I'm actually getting the hang of it. Um, sorry, that sounded like such a teacher's pet thing to say, but it is genuinely quite difficult. I learned how to write my name as well. And then I headed on the tube back because I actually had to go to Brixton Centre to get a patch test for my hair appointment. Hi everyone, so I've just got back. It was a good day, but a long day. I just went to get a patch test done at the hairdressers, which I always forget literally takes two minutes. So that was good. And now I am really excited because I get to be the person, like the YouTuber that's like, I've got a very exciting call that I can't tell you the details about yet but I have a very exciting call that I can't tell you the details about yet in about 20 minutes so I'm just going to get dinner prepped and ready and I think Rob's going to cook it while I'm in the call so then I'm just going to chill out uh, we don't start till 10 on a Tuesday which means that I can do my shorthand work in the morning which is great because I could really do it with an evening to kind of just get my life together <laughs> Hi guys, so I am all done for today. Just had a shower, washed my hair. I'm gonna get into bed now and watch some Disney Plus. I think I'm gonna watch the end of Only Murders in the Building season two. If you've not watched it, would really recommend. It's a bit slow to start, but after about episode five of season one, it's really, really good. Um, it's been a bit of a late one today. I normally like to have more time. Hello. Hello. I'm going to end this clip here anyway. No, I'm leaving. No, that was the end of the clip anyway. Speaking. That was the end of the clip anyway. Good night. <laughs> Morning, everyone. So it is Tuesday. Got up a little bit later than planned today because I was just really enjoying the warm bed versus the cold outside of the bed. But I'm now just going to do a quick half an hour of shorthand before I leave, which means I've only done an hour and a half technically, which is not two hours. But you know what? 
it's fine. Not really sure what's on my timetable today, if I'm honest, I haven't checked. So I'm just gonna go and do this and yeah. Outfit of the day, jumper is from ASOS Marketplace. Um, jeans are from Zara, Converse are from Office. Very, very lazy outfit today because it's cold and I couldn't be bothered to pick something else out. <laughs> So my routine on the way there was pretty much the same as yesterday. I grabbed myself a copy of Metro. I actually grabbed myself a Diet Coke from McDonald's as well today because I wanted to treat myself. And I just read those and got up to date with the news on the train. I then found out that I got a ticket for the London Press Club Ball, which I was so excited about. Um, and then this morning we were doing infographics. I didn't really show much of this, but we were like playing around with infographics. So of course I did a Billy Joel album chart which I didn't manage to finish and a Billy Joel life in statistics which I also didn't manage to finish on Canva. After that we had shorthand um, which was pretty gruelling today I'm not gonna lie and then we had reporting we have like our reporting exam first so but in good news I'm at the top of the leaderboard for the news quiz I'm feeling very smug with myself I really pulled a comeback this week and then we spent a another lesson doing some more reporting exercises then I got back and we had a HelloFresh meal, which was so yummy. And I spent the rest of the evening doing admin and practicing shorthand. I did film an intro for Wednesday, but I forgot to record it, which honestly summed up my day. I was in such a foul mood when I woke up. I did not want to get out of bed. So I didn't really film much today. We had a shorthand and then I had a briefing ahead of something I was filming with Zizi the next day. Grabbed a sausage roll for lunch because I didn't have much time. I literally didn't film anything at all in the afternoon. I think we had media law and SEO, um, but I was just not in the mood to be filming. But then, thankfully, my day did pick up a little bit. I went and saw my school friend, Amy, who I've not seen in ages. We went to La Nonna in Brixton Village. Absolutely delicious. Can 100% recommend. Was super yummy. Um, a really, really nice just atmosphere. Um, and we had such a nice catch up. Then Rob came and joined us for drinks at the Prince of Wales. Good morning, everyone. So it is Thursday. I'm really sorry I didn't vlog like talking to the camera yesterday. If I'm honest, in the morning, I had to be dragged out of bed. I just didn't want to go. I was in a really bad mood. I wasn't feeling great. Um, but in the end, I actually met up with my friend Amy, which I'll have kind of explained in the voiceover, but Amy's a friend from school who's now moved to London. And going out with her, just having a nice meal, going out for drinks with her and Rob afterwards. Like, I've not seen her since like 20, early 2021, so it was really nice to catch up with her about everything and just have a night where you're not even looking at the clock, you're just having a really nice time. And I got back and the bed's not made, the washing's not done, like the house, the flat's a bit of a mess, but I feel so much better for it. Have I done any shorthand? No, but I feel like sometimes you just need some nights where you just chill out and I feel so much more recharged and refreshed for having gone out and seen somebody that I really care about than having spent the evening like sorting my life out and everything. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you know how, I just think sometimes when you get in a bit of a rut with your day to day, like just having an evening where you just take some time out, go and do something fun, um, can really just make all the difference. So I'm in a much better mood today. I'm actually going to film with Zizi this evening. This video is not sponsored by Zizi or anything, but I'm really, really excited about this. It's a new campaign that they're doing with the Mental Health Foundation and they asked me to help out. It does mean, however, that I have to do my makeup at lunchtime on my course and then basically rush to White City after my course finishes at 5.30 and try and get there for just before 6.30, which is gonna be a bit of a task. But we're gonna give it a go. I'm very nervous about it, but I think it's gonna be a bit out of my comfort zone and very exciting. I've got this top on, which I'm gonna wear underneath a very thick jumper today. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna head off now because I will miss my bus, as I have nearly missed the whole week, and I should probably do a bit of shorthand. But, you know, we can't do everything. <laughs> I surprisingly also didn't vlog much of News Associates today because it was kind of the same as what you've already seen which is why I was a bit worried about vlogging. We did shorthand and the afternoon was mainly focused on preparing for the reporting slash essential journalism exam and after that I raced to Hammersmith and then Shepherd's Bush to film with ZZ. It was the most beautiful sunset today. This clip doesn't even do it justice. And I got in there and it was all very professional. Um, and I felt so out of my comfort zone, but it was really, really cool. Hello everyone, so I'm back now. I had the coolest time today filming. It was so out of my comfort zone, but in like a really cool way. Uh, I just feel like so good for having done it. So I'm in a really, really good mood now. And I'm also in a really good mood because my placement doesn't start till one tomorrow. So I can actually have a lion and get caught up on things so i'm gonna end the vlog here for today but i'll pick you back up 
We got to Thursday without you <laughs> without you interrupting. In the vlog here. Yeah, you think the musical theatre students a bit flat, do you not think? A bit awkward really. You can see why you're paying all the money. <laughs> <laughs> see you tomorrow. Hi, hi, hi everyone. So I've been chilling this morning, very much making the most of the fact I don't have to be anywhere by one. I am going to get my laptop out now. I am watching Bake Off at the moment, um, but I do need to do some emails, admin, etc. But I don't really plan on doing much else before I have to go out one other than do my makeup and stuff because I'm actually going out tonight with the guys from News Associates. We're going out in Clapham, which is great for me because it's literally down the road. I uh, don't even need to Uber it there. You can just walk. Um, who is messaging me at this speed? Seriously. Um, but yeah, so I probably won't vlog too much today, um, but I will include what I can. <laughs> Howdy, Crazy Hair Eve is back. Hair will not look like this later on when I go out. The reason I curled it so tightly is for that reason because my hair drops. I'm getting it cut tomorrow anyway, which I'm so excited about. But I'm now heading off to the radio station, just wearing something chill and cosy. And then I'm going to come back here afterwards, drop my bag, probably put a bit more makeup on and head out to Clapham. So the placement today was honestly great. They really, really threw us in at the deep end. I did some news reading. I ran the live Twitter blog and I'm actually doing a bit of presenting in the next couple of weeks as well. So it's really cool to just be stuck right in there. And I've really missed doing radio. And then we had a little bit of Prosecco after, which is apparently tradition after the show. And then we headed to Spoons and we just headed out in Clapham slash Battersea slash Northcote Road um, area. Had Nando's, was amazing. And then went to Brewdog because everywhere else was full and that was really nice too. Hi everyone. So I am just back now. My hair is looking so weird today. I actually don't know. You know what? It's just a sign I need a haircut. You know when you get to the point where no matter what you do with your hair, it just looks a little bit bizarre. So I'm very... I'm really not sure what's going on there. But anyway, I am back. It's been a lovely evening. It was super chill, which is kind of what I needed after this week. And today's been really cool, getting really hands-on with the radio station and everything. I really, really missed doing radio, so that was a real just absolute win for me. I am going to end this vlog here because I am going to be doing another vlog on Sunday, which is more like a chilled rest and reset day in the life, like a clean with me, get my life in order with me, all of that sort of stuff because I know a lot of you really like those vlogs. But I really do hope you've enjoyed this one. I've actually really enjoyed editing it. I'm just finished editing it here now before I go to bed. Um, so let me know if you would like more vlogs like this one. Let me know if there are any other videos that I've not filmed that you would like me to film. And yeah, I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye guys. Mwah.